Hey, what's up? This is Priscilla Renee, and I am Hip Hollywood's Artist of the Week. I'm just a girl, you're just a boy. This is my heart, it's not a toy. So what's with you playing with my mind? Well, I got started on YouTube. It's pretty much the base of, you know, my career and where it all started. I started posting videos, I want to say December of 06. So it'll be three years this December. And um, the first couple videos I posted weren't really, you know, all that spectacular. The first one was actually from the My Grammy Moment competition that Justin had that year. And um, it got a little bit of traffic, but nothing, you know, crazy. And then I posted, and I'm telling you I'm not going. Um, and Dream Girls came out that Christmas. And when people went to look for the for Jennifer Hudson version, they would find mine. So I got like hundreds of thousands of hits, and I kind of like, light bulb went off like, hey. That's something that I should do. A family friend of Kenny Cold, who I'm signed to Power Entertainment, saw me on YouTube, flew me to Atlanta. After that, I was writing songs and just trying to find myself. Wasn't sure if I wanted to be an artist. I was very self-conscious, like, uh, I don't know if I can do this. And then our lawyer took the songs to Capitol Records, Chris Anakute, who's also Katy Perry's a &R. Um, And he saw that I had this huge following on YouTube after hearing my songs that I've written. And he was like, hey, we want to sign her. She's amazing. And uh, that happened in November of last year. And now I'm here. So it's about a two and a half year journey. Through and through, my album is definitely a story. All my songs tell stories. And that's what I kind of found that I took to more in my writing process. Um, like I said, it was about a year. And I never went into a session like, I'm going to write a song for my album. Because I didn't know what I wanted my album to be about. I didn't know what we were going to call it. I didn't know that I was what I was going to talk about. I didn't even know that I was going to be signed and have a deal. Well, the album's called Jukebox, and we decided to call it Jukebox because there's a plethora of music. Just like in my iPod, I listen to everything. The Verve, you know, Spandu Ballet, Sunil O'Connor, to James Brown, to Marvin Gaye, to Michael Jackson. The video was directed by Rich Lee, who also directed Clumsy for Fergie and Hush Hush for Fisket Dolls. He's a genius. It was amazing to see how the thought went from his head to the paper and then from the paper to real life because I was curious to see how it was gonna happen. So I'm like, how are you gonna make me get from this size to this size in 10 seconds with no CG, you know, or green screen? And you know, it was actually fairly simple, but it takes a creative mind like that to come up with something like that. And I would definitely work with him again. He was so nice. It was a pleasure. It was a long day, 5 a.m. to 1 a.m., but one day we got it all done and we have the studio dollhouse. One of the best songs on my album, Mr. Workaby, um, is one of the three that were co-written. Um, it was submitted. And that was the only one that was actually, you know, outside. It wasn't like we came up with it together or, you know, someone did a part. It was like, no, she came to me with part of the song and I was like, wow, this is really good. And if I would have been one of those artists like, no, I write my own stuff, I would have missed out because that is a wonderful song and it's talking about you know, a promiscuous lover, but it's an analogy of a bee form, like, you know, Mr. Workabee and Queen Bee, you know. So it's really cute, and a five-year-old can sing along to it and have no idea what it's about. But her mother will be sitting there like, maybe I should call your dad, like, where is he? Hey, Mr. Workabee, I see you working. But do you often forget that you've got a queen at home? Yes, yeah, she sits on her throne. But she feels so alone And the buzz around town is you creep around So what are you working on, Mr. Workabee?